What's going on, family? This video is sponsored by Slab City Jigs. Be sure to go to slabcityjigs.com and pick you up some of the 903 Fishing Signature Series on the website. Coulter is ready to go over there, and these jigs absolutely catch crappie in the fall and winter in the creeks. I hope you all are ready to see them in action. Y'all stay tuned. There he is. There he is. And that's a keeper. Look at that, guys. There's a keeper fish. Keeper crappie, baby. Creek crappie. Fishing 2023 has began. But that is a keeper crappie in the creek. Look at him. Bye. Let's go. There are a few crappie that have made their way in. Still really, really, really early right now, guys. I just came today, like I said in the intro, just to see if I could catch a few. There he is. Oh gosh, guys. Oh, that is a, that is a, that's a big fish. That's a big fish, guys. Look at that. It looks like these crappie, look, look at that Slab City jig right there, guys. Look at that Slab City. It looks like these crappie are just hanging around these pillars right now. But guys, you gotta think about it. There's also shade underneath this bridge there's still a high of 90 degrees today. A lot of people don't know, crappie come in here a lot earlier than what people think. This creek water warms up a lot quicker, but it also cools down a lot quicker as well. And this water right here feels pretty good, honestly. That was a nice fish. That bait has to be coming across. Look at there, he bit it and it didn't even move it. There he is, there he is. Look at that guys, that is another keeper fish. That's three right there guys, that's three keepers. I mean, that's a solid 11 and a half, 11 and a half inch crappie right there. I'm telling you guys, these crappie are stacked on these pillars. Lots of small fish right now too though. You gotta be right beside the pillar. There he is. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh. Hey, there's four. <laughs> That's four keepers right there, I think, on film. I caught one or two before. Look at that, guys. That is a solid fish. Solid. Wow. This is awesome, guys. And it's game on. Creek crappie's in the building, baby. Let's go. There he is. God, dog. Guys. I didn't get to cast on film. I wasn't expecting to catch one right there because of the, the pillar is not in the shade you see how these last two pillars right here aren't in the shade but i guess it don't matter because look at that you know what guys i'm gonna keep fish i'm gonna keep them i hope the bite don't slow down on me and guess what guys a new sponsor to the channel stinky pants fishing baby these are awesome i'm telling you toughest stringer on the market premium coated stainless steel wire 
streamlined design for tournament fishermen and kayakers right here this is my first trip in the kayak this year and this right here is the eight footer hey guys you can use code 903 on their website to save you i believe it's 15 percent off it may be 10 but i'll put all the information in the description of this video so guys with this stringer very solid rope right here you just put that crappie down and then put it back through the loop boom now you can just attach crappie onto the now you can just put crappie on the stringer and then them crappie fall off of that stringer way easier than a regular rope all right guys you know what i've caught five keepers so far let's see if there's any more i'm thinking most of the crappie are going to be in the shade right over here okay i did just catch one in the sun which was really surprising to me let me go over my setup real quick guys this is going to be my creek crappie machine this year 66 acc crappie sticks one piece okay i have my slip cork set up with a single jig rig i have my double jig rig also to cover the water column in case i'm fishing deeper water right now we're fishing about i mean that's about three and a half foot deep or so i got the viper x 500 from pc fun on 166 and then i have the carbon x on the other one 500 both are 500 reels be sure to go to pcfun.com use code 903 fish 15 to save you 15 percent off of your order this is the viper x that goes really smooth with this uh green acc crappie sticks but all of the links from this video will be in the description so y'all be sure to check that out of course the 903 fishing signature stinger series on slapcityjigs.com these are going to catch creek crappie for you this year i'm telling you guys every color will catch you fish right now i am throwing the silver and monkey milk and that's what it seems like they want right now i have got to be right on that pillar see these crappie are using these pillars as ambush points they're hiding behind the pillars and then when bait crosses their face that bait can't see that crappie behind that pillar now i caught one in the sun earlier i was really surprised oh gosh there he is there he is Oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> That's a good one. Look at that, guys. Boom. Okay, guys, just to give y'all a comparison, I mean, that is a stud. That's a stud fish. I mean, that's over 12 inches in the creek right now, guys. My little stinky pants stranger. Right there, guys. Now, look how smooth and, and easy that is. Now, if I decide to release these, it's gonna be very easy to do that as well. That is another great thing about these stringers. I'm telling you, everything in the description will have what you need to go get you 10 or 15% off. I can't remember which one it is. And you help me out a little bit if you go buy a stringer, guys. So if you want to, go ahead and go purchase one of them stinky pants stringers. Let's go get another one. All right, guys, I'm calling fish on this cast. Let's see if it works. This way I can go, oh my gosh, guys, I just called it and it's a good one. Look at this fish. Look at this crappie, oh my gosh. Come here, baby. A solid, that is freaking solid. No measurement needed on that fish. See, I try to position the kayak to where I could hit all the pillars at once. Instead of just targeting one pillar at a time, if I throw parallel with these pillars, I'm able to go by each pillar and look at that. Wow, that is awesome. Heck guys, I got three on the stringer right now and I caught five keepers before I started keeping fish. There he is. Look how easy that goes down there. Easy, baby. Okay guys, quick update for y'all. I still can't believe this happened, but things happen. Rookie mistake on my part. I ran out of battery on my GoPro. So I reached back in the bag behind me to get some more batteries and I did not have my batteries in the bag. I left them on the table this morning beside my bag. So I had to go back home, 
get my batteries and come back. So with that being said, the three crappie that I had on my stringer, I had to let them go before I left to go get my batteries. So I'm back and let's get back to catching these crappie. Y'all stay tuned. All right, guys. Can't believe I left my batteries at the house. Hopefully they're still biting, but I think we'll be able, we'll know here pretty quick if they're still hitting. You really got to hit these pillars at all sides, guys. I mean, there could be three over there. If you don't fish it, you'll never know on that side. There he is. Ah, it's a little one. It's all right. Little guy. A little small crappie. I'll tell you what, we are, the keeper to non-keeper ratio is still pretty good for it to be this early. There he is. Uh-oh. Hey guys, we're back on the board. Dang, that's a solid fish. Solid. Solid, baby. Look at that. No measurement needed on this fish right here, guys. There he is, guys. Well, let's see. <laughs> let's start over on the stringer. <laughs> let's just see how many we can catch. I don't know how many we'll be able to catch, but we can just try it out here. I will say this, guys. There is a lot. There's a lot more bait in this creek than there was at this time last year. Now, I don't know why, but there's bait everywhere. If your creek has bait, the better chances of there being crappie in that creek. Nope, let's try on this side of this one. Slip cork and jig, baby. Don't get no more fun than this right here. Don't get much more fun than this. Oh, he hit it. He hit it, look at there. Look at that, guys. He hit that as it was sitting still. Look at that. I was readjusting the kayak to move. Look at that, another keeper fish. No giants, guys. Haven't caught a giant. I mean, I caught a 12, over a 12 incher earlier, but no, no, you know, monsters right now, but it's still early. I mean, like I said, this is my first time coming out here. And, you know, it's kind of crazy that they're already here. But <laughs> you ain't going to hear me complain not one bit. All right, guys, let's see if we can go get another one. Hey, guys, also, I forget to show y'all every time I do it because I turn the camera off in between casts and stuff. But, well, guys, Thump Gel, baby. Go to thumpgel.com, use code 903 save you 10 percent off of your order all you got to do guys take that jig put a little thump gel on it move it around and you're good for 10 to 15 maybe even 20 casts with that thump gel but be sure to go to thumpgel.com don't forget to use the code now using the code helps me out guys so I'm trying to give you all these discounts save you some money get out there and catch these creek crappie this fall and winter where you at crappie there he is oh man okay that's pushing biggest of the day pushing it wow look at that guys solid keeper fish i mean there's nothing wrong with that crappie solid guys not a giant but this one actually has some meat on it so we gonna put him on stringer probably gonna end up letting these go but that is the good thing about these stringers right here these stinky pants stringers guys is they're gonna stay alive for you so if you keep fish and I know myself, sometimes I get to the end of the day and I don't want to clean them. I don't want to mess with them. 
I either give them away or, you know, put them back. But if they're alive, you can just set them right back down in the creek. Put them down, let them go, come catch them again. Let's see if we can catch another one. Now, you could also vertical jig these pillars too, guys. It's just for me, the wind's not blowing at this moment. But when that wind does kick up, you can't stay still like this. I don't know, guys. It's something about that cork going under. Something about them popping that cork. I love it. He hit it. He's on. He's on. Oh, that's a good one. Look at that. Oh, another keeper fish, guys. Well, guess what, guys? I had done, I caught, I released my first four or five, and then I had three on the stringer before I had to leave. And now I got four on the stringer now. So, look at that fish. Not a giant, but it's still a keeper eater all day. There's four on the stringer. What I'm doing, I'm just putting this anchor down right there over them. Right up against that pillar, guys. I'm gonna try my best, since I am this close, I'm gonna try my best to get y'all some zoomed in bobber action as well. So hopefully y'all enjoy that too. Typically I'm not this close to where I'm fishing, especially from the bank. But doing this type of fishing right here, I am able, should be able to uh, zoom in on that bobber for you guys. I wonder if there's another one. Like I said, there's four on stringer, put back three earlier, caught four or five off, or caught four or five and put them back. If there's one in this sun, I'm gonna be surprised, but there could be. Guys, there was one in the sun. <laughs> That's a good fish. 6'6", six, six, ACC crappie sticks, guys, flipping them in here. That's a keeper too. No need to measure that fish at all. Good little keeper creek fish. Keep a crappie. Look at this stringer, guys. I could put this fish on this stringer. They're in the water. And I can be fishing. In about 20 seconds, I'm fishing again. So, dang, I can't believe there was one right there. There he is. There he is. Oh my, oh. Biggest of the day? It is. Jeez. Oh. Guys, that is solid. Man, that is solid fish. There's the uh, monkey milk right there from Slab City. I'm telling you guys, these suckers are gonna catch crappie for you year round, but especially, I'm, I'm really, you know, I use jigs really in the creek, you know what I'm saying? So. That is when you're gonna see me doing most of my jig fishing is in the creeks in the fall and winter. That's a, that's a good fish. First time using this stringer right here and I think I'm gonna like it guys, I really do. I think I'm gonna like it. Look at there guys, there's six crappie on there. Threw three back earlier and caught, put, four or five of the first ones I caught back because I didn't think I would keep fish today. But look at that. See, what I want to try my best to do is cast past that pillar and bring that bobber by the side of that pillar. Because those crappie are right beside the pillar. Something dropping down on them isn't very realistic. I wouldn't think. Throwing it past it and bringing it back to them it's definitely a lot more realistic. I seem to, you know, have better, have better results doing it that way as well. All right, guys, look like the bite has slowed down on me, basically shut off on me completely. I think it's the time of the day. It's about midday right now. And I have seven on the stringer right here, 
plus the three that I threw back earlier, that's 10 keepers. And I caught a, probably about four to six that I threw back before I started keeping fish. So guys, I mean, today was could have easily been a 15 keeper day right here. But what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna show y'all how easy it is to set these fish back in the water, okay? So watch this right here, look at this. Six crappie gone, look at them. Look at them, bye. They're all alive, guys. That one just took off. Y'all already know, guys, today I got my 6.6 ACC crappie sticks one piece right here. I love this rod in the creeks, whether I'm in the kayak or on the bank. And we have the Carbon X 500 right here from PC Fun. Be sure to go to PCFun.com, use code 903FISH15. That's gonna save you 15% off of your order. And of course, we're slip corking today with those 903 fishing signature series slab city jigs right here be sure to go to slabcityjigs.com and that is what we're using to catch these crappie today three small guys so far i've caught three small black crappie oh okay change that change that we got a good one Yes, sir. Dang, that's a black crappie, guys. Holy smokes. That's a black crappie. That's gonna be a keeper right there. Let me get my checker right here. Shoot, that's a, over 11 inches, guys. Let's go. We got over 11 inches. That's a good fish. Come on, dude. I'm sorry, man, but I got you. I got you, dude. There we go. Put him on stringer. Ooh, this water is so muddy. Muddy, muddy, muddy. All right, guys. Well, might have figured something out here. I'm not quite sure yet. I went a little bit deeper and started catching fish. Not much deeper, just a little bit. Still haven't caught one of those big whites that are I know can get in here. They may just not be in here. Oh gosh. Oh, I just got nailed. Oh, I got nailed. What is that? Hey, hey, there's a white. He's in the boat. He's in the kayak, I should say. Is that a white? That is a white crappie. Hey, guys, that's going to be a keeper as well. Not a giant, but hey, that's another 11 incher thick, too. This one thick. Okay, guys, we may be on to something here. You know what? Even if I don't run across any of them big white crappie that's okay i know we got two keepers on stringer let's go baby now that one was more closer to the bank and i'm deeper so that's interesting they might be on that drop off over there i don't know let's i don't know He hit that? He did. Okay. I don't know if this is a keeper. It might be. Oh, it is. Well, uh, I think it is. That's a keeper all day, baby. Not a giant, but it's a keeper. First video you're watching, guys. I'm in Texas. And these crappie got to be 10 inches. We're back in the creek today. And another 11 incher, exactly 11, guys. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. We got three 11 inchers, and I mean, they're all like exactly 11 inches. That's crazy. All three of them, exactly 11. That's interesting. Here we go, guys. Let's see if we can get another one. All right. Well, that was kind of crazy, guys. 
over by the bank. I know there's some logs and stuff over there. Really don't want to get hung up on them, but probably more than likely that's what them crappie are relating to over there. Oh gosh, there he is. He came right off the log. I don't know how big he is. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, all right, we're rolling. We're cooking. Couldn't tell how big he was, but look at that, guys. That is another keeper fish. I think this one, I think we may have broke our 11-inch curse here. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe, guys. I don't know. Let's see what he's looking like. Oh, yeah, that's 12. That's 12 inches. We broke the 11-inch curse, guys. We got a 12-inch crappie. That's what I'm talking about. Hey guys, caught four. I think that's four, right? Four keepers? Yep. Four keepers in about 10 minutes. You never know, guys. Let's keep on rolling with them, baby. So all I had to do was go a little deeper. See guys, last video, I know you recognize this spot. This is the beaver dam spot right here. And I got something to show y'all in this video as well. Oh, good gosh. Uh oh, oh, what do we got? We got a tank? We might have a tank. Uh, not a tank, but it's a keeper fish. Wow, guys, here we go. Look at there. That's a little keeper, white crappie. That's probably back in that, that 11 inch range, I would assume. Oh, 11 and a half, baby. <laughs> Let's go, guys. Five keepers, pretty quick, too. I didn't know if the crappie would still be in this spot. Now, I'm not catching those giants like I was in the last video, but, Hey guys, I'm blessed. I'm blessed to be catching creek crappie right now. I really don't care how big they are. That's five. One, two, three, four, five. Five on a stringer. Some good eating right there from the creek. And we're gonna keep going, guys. Y'all y'all stay tuned. Let's see how many more we can pull off this spot right here. All right, guys, I'm also using thump gel today. I'm telling you, I know y'all see this muddy creek and it's to me it in my opinion it's even muddier than it was the last time i was here and this thump gel one it's going to give it that little sparkle but more importantly the thump gel going to give it that smell okay and i've mentioned this in past videos i think that thump gel smells like shad that's what i think it smells like and these crappie love it they really do love it so oh look guys guys there's witness right there guys i just put that thump gel on and cast it out i didn't move my cork and i think we have a keeper fish right here so if you're not picking up thump gel look at that look at that that is a nice fish look i just put that thump gel on and cast it out i didn't even move the the jig guys look at that i mean i didn't even move the jig i mean not a giant but it's a keeper that's probably close to that 12 inch range 11 and a half <laughs> if you don't got that thump gel you're missing out guys thumpgel.com use code 903 that's going to save you 10 percent over there on the website at thumpgel.com but look at there guys there's six keepers didn't even move it didn't even move the jig you can't tell me that thump gel. And then look, there's still thump gel on it. I didn't even think it would be that deep over there. Oh, look, look. There he is. Oh, he got big all of a sudden. He got big. Oh, is this the biggest of the day? It is. Oh, guys, we got a toad hammer hammer that's what i've been waiting on baby let's go 
I don't know how I got him in the bottom bottom of the lip, but hey guys, haha, <laughs> biggest of the day. Started using that thump gel again, baby. Let's go. That's a good fish. No measurement needed on this one. Let's go, baby. All right, guys, that's seven. Starting to compile a little bag of fish there. There's seven for you, baby. Let's go. Man, that thump gel is legit. Y'all already know, slabcityjigs.com. I got the black and monkey milk for this dirty, dirty water. And it's working. Just like last video, guys, I'm, I'm really having to slow down how I work that bait so them crappie can see the bait. Oh, there's another one. I don't think it's that big. Oh, ah, that might be a keeper, guys. My first couple of fish I caught were non-keeper black crappie. I, I don't think that's going to keep. I don't. Nope, he's just under 10. We're going to put that one back. But yeah, guys, my first couple of fish were small black crappie. Didn't really know if there was any keepers there. Oh, he hit it. Feels like a better fish. Oh, and it is. Look at there, guys. There's a keeper black. That one was a little bit closer to me. I think that's going to be a keeper. Oh, yeah. Ten and a half, almost 11 inches, guys. Nice. Let's go. Usually, you could tell by the way they hit. A keeper fish is going to hit different than a non-keeper, usually, not always. It just depends. But there's eight. Let's go, baby. Eight keepers on a stringer. And guess what, guys? I've probably caught about 20 fish, maybe. Tw about 20, maybe 21, 22, but, you know, I've caught a lot of smalls today, but that right there is only my second bait my second soft plastic that I've used. So, you know, two plastics over 20 fish, that's not bad at all. All right, guys, so I haven't gotten bit in a while. When I mean a while, I say 15 minutes, okay? So what I'm gonna do is, I am going to switch baits here. I'm gonna switch colors, okay? So I've been catching them on the black and monkey milk. I'm going to change over to the white. I mean, you never know. They may be seeing that same jig over and over, and they just don't want it. So we're going to switch over to a white. White is also another good color to use in a muddy creek. So we're going to go to white now. Could be good, may not work. It may not do anything, but it might. And that's 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 what you gotta think that, you know, there's a chance changing colors may not work at all. But then on the flip side of that, if you've been throwing something at these crappie over and over and over, and they didn't hit it the first 20 times they saw it, they're probably not gonna hit it the 21st. I also have dark blue as well. Dark blue is a good color for this water too. Look at there. Guys, first cast with the white. Changing baits. Look, I don't know if that's a keeper. I, I don't think it is, but changing baits. It's not, it's not a keeper, but hey. First cast, I'm talking about, I didn't get bit for 20 minutes, 15 minutes. And then I'm, I change baits. That's all I did was change colors. That could matter. I just got nailed.
Look at that shad busting right here. Oh gosh, he's on. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh, it's a giant. Yes. Come here, baby. Don't come off. Oh. Oh my gosh. Well, there's there, that's what we've been waiting on, guys. <laughs> that's what we've been waiting on. Oh, geez. It is a freaking giant. That was right there. Look at the back on that fish. Wow. There is a few more here. That is a big fish, guys. That is a... That's almost a 14. It's about a 13 and a half incher. That's a stud. Good for any creek right there. All right, guys. Well, there was at least one more. Now, I had just got bit right before that. But no way that's, that was the same fish. Do you think so? No way that was the same fish. Oh my gosh. Oh. 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 It wasn't the same fish. Oh my goodness. That was another giant. Oh gosh. There he is. Uh oh. Oh, guys, we got a tank. I didn't know if he, he hit it, but I didn't see. What, he sure didn't take the cork. Well, not a tank. It ain't a tank. It's a keeper. It's a keeper fish. Nice, guys. Okay, so guess what, guys? At the beginning of this video, I was catching fish over here on the left side. Over here on the left. Now I've, now I've started to catch fish over here to the right. Interesting. That's a keeper, guys. This one is going to be running. Ten and a half, almost 11. There we go, baby. Hey, guys, that's going to be pretty sure that's 10 on the stringer. Look at there, guys. That's 10. 10 Creek Crappie. Can't complain, baby. I wonder if there's any more of them biggins. Y'all stay tuned. All right, guys. Sorry for no hook set. Wasn't really expecting that. But there we go. Now I'm going to get all messed up and lose my spot. Hey, guys, look at that. That's a keeper fish all day. Sorry for the hook set. I think that's the first one. I think that's the first hook set I've missed today. Just wasn't really expecting it, but look at that stringer, guys. Putting some work in at the creek, baby. Probably not going to be big enough. I don't know how well you're, you're going to be able to hear me, but I'm going to try not to be screaming and stuff. But a little crappie right there. Put that one back. There he is. I don't know what that is. Is that a crappie? Oh man, look at that. Oh my gosh. Look at that one, guys. That's a little better. Ten and a half. That's got to be a keeper fish. Or it's a bass. Oh, look at that. That's not a keeper. I don't know what it is. It's got to be a keeper fish, guys. Not huge crappie. 
They're not huge. Look at there. Ten and a quarter, guys. Almost ten and a half. Look at there. Almost ten and a half inches. We're going to keep this one. That's what I'm talking about. Another keeper on the board, baby. All right. Well, now see, look, guys. Here's what's going on. Got this waterfall right here. I hope y'all can hear what I'm saying. But got the waterfall. And of course, there's some current, you know, from that waterfall out here out front. But over here in this corner, there's a slack pocket of water. And that's where I'm catching most of these crappie. And they're hitting it. As soon as it hits the water, they hit it. There he is. Uh-oh. Feels good. Oh, man. Look at that. That might be a keeper, too. You would think there'd be some big ones in there somewhere. That's 10 inches, a little over 10 actually. A little over 10, baby. Let's go. All right, there's three in the basket. Let's go see if we can get another one. All right, guys, I have my six foot ACC crappie sticks, two piece right here. Shimano Sienna 500, I got six pound mono, and we're casting at these crappie. I'm either letting it drop to the bottom and popping it off the bottom, or I'm just slow retrieving that, that jig back to me. And they're there. Look at there, as soon as it hit the water. As soon as it hit the water. Oh, man. He ain't gonna make it, but you know what? That's a pretty fish. Pretty fish. See ya. There he is. Uh-oh, uh-oh. That's a keeper, God job. Oh. That's a good fish, that's, that's a... That's definitely 10 right there, guys. State of Texas gotta be 10 inches. Dang. Let's see what this one looks like. 10 and a half. 10 and a half, guys. And I can almost guarantee you, you know, these are great fish right here. 10 and a half inches is a great filet, but at some point in this video, I'm, I'm, I gotta run across a hog. And I mean, for this lake right here, you catch a 12-incher, that's a big crappie out of this lake. So y'all stay tuned. Let's see if we can get any big ones out of there. I want them to be a little bit over 10. Go ahead and keep those fish. I don't want to keep a fish that's right at 10. There he is. Oh my gosh. There he is. Look at that one. What? Oh no, he broke me off. All right, guys, I finally got the hook out. Let's see what he's looking like. Oh yeah, that's 10 and a half. Just shy of 10 and a half right there, guys. He swallowed the hook anyway, so he's bleeding. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one. One, two, three, four, five. That's five right there, baby. Let's go. Let's go get back in there. There he is. Look at that. Cookie cutters, baby. Oh, that's a good fish. Oh, man. Guys, that's, that's probably 10 and a half. I would say. That's about 10 and a half right there. Oh, it is 10 and a half, baby. Look at that. Ten and a half's right there. That's, oh no, he's longer than, yeah, he's right at ten and a half. He's sticking out a little bit. That's a decent fish. And like I said, guys, you need to take in consideration what's a big fish, you know, on certain lakes. You know, like I said, a 
12 inch crappie on this lake is a big fish. So to come out here and catch 10, 10 and a half inch crappie, you know, that's, that's really good. So I know they get bigger, but that's still a good fish. There he is. There's another one. Ooh. That's another one. Look at that. I don't know what he's going to look like on the checker, but it's decent. A little healthy, thick back on him. These would be great to whole fry. Now, I'm not really a whole fry guy. Look at that. That's over 10 and a half, guys. Over 10 and a half. Let's go. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is seven. There's seven keepers in the basket, guys. Seven keepers. Let's go get another. There he is. Oh. Oh, buddy. Look at that one right there. Oh, my gosh. There he is, guys. There's the big one I was waiting on. <laughs> Look at that, guys. There's a big one I was waiting on. Oh, he thumped that sucker. Oh, man. Thumped that Slab City jig, guys. Let's go. Now, this one, look at the back on that fish. This one going to be close to 12, if not over. Oh, yeah, he's almost a, almost 12, guys. This checker's 12 inches, so he's 11 and a half, almost 12. That's a good fish right there. Wow. There's eight in the basket. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This one feels like a good one. He's staying down on me. Oh, yes. Oh, look at that, guys. Look at that. That's another keeper fish. Wow. Oh, that's 10 and a half. 10 and a half incher, baby. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, there's nine in the basket. Who would have thought? Nine in the basket, baby. Let's go, guys. Oh, there he is. Oh my gosh. Guys, that was vertical jigging right down beside me. I vertical jigged that fish right down beside me. And that's a good one. Wow. That's 11 incher. <laughs> that's 11 inch white crappie right there. That's going to be number 10. Wow. Oh my gosh, guys, look. Are you kidding me? It's a bass, that's why. That's what I get for putting my jig in the water. Oh my gosh. I literally just had my pole sitting out. Oh gosh. All right, let's see if we can vertical jig another one right here. There he is, there he is. Oh, and it's a good one. Oh, wow. That's another good fish, I think. That's gonna be a keep, guys. All right, so, you know what? I was casting over into this slack water over here, but the last two keepers I've caught have been vertical jigging right down beside the kayak. I think this is gonna, oh yeah, that's 10 and a half. Look at that, 10 and a half. That's 11. Wow. <laughs> right down beside the kayak. Look at that, guys. This slab city is beat to heck. I'm gonna go ahead and put another new one on. Using this purple today, that's what I wanna stick with. Just like that. Let's see if we can catch another one. That's 11 keepers. Oh my gosh, it just dropped. Oh my gosh, look at that black. Guys. First keeper black of the day, I think. I think that's gonna be a keeper black crappie. Oh man. That's 10 and a half. 10 and a half on the checker, guys. Wow, this is insane right now. This is insane. Look at this, guys. I think that's 12. 
I think that's 12 right there. This is insane. All right, let's let's go ahead and try to cast back over there. Yikes. There he is. Oh man, that one jumped up out of there, guys. That's a good one. Yeah, that's, a, oh, a black. Uh-oh, black crappie time, it looks like. I swear, when the black crappie move in, they just take over. Look at there. That's over 10, guys, 10 and a quarter. We're gonna go ahead and keep that one. I think that's 13. I think it's 13. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's going to keep, I think. I think. Easy release. Oh, yeah. That's over 10, guys. About 10 and a quarter right there. Let's go. I think that's 13. Maybe 14. I don't know. That's a good question. But better sure I don't get tied up. been a while since I caught a keeper. This one looks like it has potential. It is, godly. Yeah, it's been a while. I caught about, well, I say this is a keeper. Yeah, he's 10 and a quarter, guys. 10 and a quarter, baby. We're gonna say that's 14. Kind of lost count a while ago, but I'll make sure I'm not over. Y'all know me. I'm not going to go over on my fish. There he is. Oh. Oh, is that a... Oh, yes. Oh, that's... Oh, that's a keeper. Every time I forget to turn the GoPro back on, like I don't get to show the cast, but I catch... That's almost 10 and a half. We'll say that's 15. We'll say that's 15. Like I said, guys, don't worry. I'm going to recount my fish. And if I'm over, I will definitely, you know, put it back. But let's see if we can't get another. That's 15. There he is. Oh, oh. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's close right there, guys. I don't know. You know what? I've said this in other videos, guys, but sometimes it's not all about catching, always catching the big fish. I mean, guys, I'm catching a crappie on every cast. You can't, I, I, I can't complain. Like, I'm blessed. Like, it's crazy. Look at this. Every cast, it's a fish. And it takes about three or three to five seconds and then boom, there's another. And then, like I said, they ain't very big, but they're there. So little mohawk, guys, look. Little mohawk. Yeah, that's where the majority of the fish are, though. I've caught a few right down here beside me, but most of them are in that slacker water over there, that calmer water. gotta be oh yes oh yes oh yes yes guys that is good crappie for here black crappie look at that that is good fish little spawn colors on them little spawn colors starting to show up all right guys there he is this one is going to be a Oh, 10 and a half incher, but he is thick. I think that's 18 right there. 
Now I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna see if I can do that again. I let that. I think I'll let it go to the bottom. I don't know how deep it is. I think it's three to five feet deep. I don't think it's that deep. All right, guys. I don't have much daylight left, so we're gonna see what we can do. Maybe those big ones will turn on. Oh, that's a keep. That's a keep. Just lock. Look, look at that, guys. Look at that slab city. I mean, absolutely swallowed it. Hopefully, he keeps so I don't have to worry about him bleeding and stuff. Oh, yeah. Ten and a quarter, guys. That's going to be 19. Hey guys, hey look at there, 10 and a quarter, almost 10 and a half. White crappie, pretty fish. So that's 20. That is 20. Let's see if we can get five more. I, I don't know if I'll be able to before the sun goes down, but we'll see. Yeah guys, the whole time, for the most part, I'm just throwing out this 1 16th ounce jig head with the Slab City jig and I'm just, slow reeling it back to me every now and then i'll give it a, a little pop or so and that's what they seem to want they want a little steady retrieve they want to go get that bait Oh my gosh. Oh, guys. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> I found him. I found him. I found him, baby. Look at that crappie. Oh my gosh. That is a stud. That is a stud. I found him. I found him, baby. Look at that fish. Oh my gosh, look at the mouth. Now this one, guys, is over, oh my gosh, it's 13 or bigger, maybe 13. Shoot, it may be pushing 14. Look at that cropping. That is a stud. Look at the back on that fish, guys. Let's go. This is what I've been looking for all evening, and I finally found him, baby. Let's go. Oh, oh man that is awesome that's what i've been looking for baby oh man maybe those will start biting right now is a great time to hit that subscribe button if you haven't come join the 903 fishing family also this is a great time to go ahead and hit that like button i'd greatly appreciate it it really helps out the channel but guys look at this basket of crappie right here I think I have 20 to 21 or so. I know I'm not over 25, so we're good there, but all over 10 inches right here. We're gonna count them when we get back to the truck, so y'all stay tuned. Well guys, this is what happens when it's early in the creek season and you fish for about 20 minutes and don't get bit, and then look. Slab City jig right there. Jeez, guys, that's a big fish. I mean, that's a 14-incher. Okay, well, look at that, guys. Look at the mouth. White. That sucker is white. I fished for about 20 minutes and didn't get a bite. Turned the camera off. Boom. And I switched over to a single jig rig. I don't know what it is, but I don't know if those crappie... I don't know if that double jig rig is too much for them or I really, I just don't know. 
put that crappie in my thump net, baby. He's going to go down in the water like that. Hopefully, there's more where that came from. I had actually gotten bit right before that. Missed the fish. First time in this creek this year. And I'm here a little earlier than I came last year. I'm here a little earlier. When I was here last year, I was catching them four to six feet deep. Wasn't really catching them this shallow. So that's why it kind of, it's kind of, it's got me thrown off a little bit, but I'm here a little earlier, so things are different. All right, guys. Well, I have done some exploring and that's a little small white crappie, not gonna work, but I'm doing some exploring right now. I went up in this creek further than I ever have. I just caught a fish. Oh, there's another one. Oh, oh, that's a keep. I think. I think I think that's a keep. I think it is. We're gonna find out. Let's see what this one measures. I think that's a keep. That's ten and a half, baby. Let's roll. I need to back off this spot. I don't see why they wouldn't be loaded right here. So what happened guys is I went where I normally fish in this creek and I've never came around this bend because guys, this little area right here is about a foot, maybe a foot and a half deep right now. Then all of a sudden I come to this hole and look, we're talking a solid five, six foot deep right now in the creek. And the first thing that I toss at is these little logs right here in the water. And then caught two fish quick. One non-keeper, one keeper. So what, what's happening is it looks like this creek doesn't have enough water in it right now. There's not enough water in this creek to where the crappie can shoot way up. So what's going to happen is these crappie are going to go as far as they can go with the water being so low. Any structure that I see, I'm gonna fish it because these crappie, I don't know, it may not be cold enough right now for them to be scattered. They may be in here on structure. A few that I've caught today have been on a piece of structure. There he is. A little deeper. All right, well. Another, ow. Another small guy. But I'm talking about choked it. There he is, I'm over here messing around. Oh, oh, that's a crappie guy. That, is it? No, I don't, it's a bass. Oh my gosh, no it's not. It's a giant. Oh my goodness. Guys, are y'all seeing that? Slab City jig right there, look at that fish. There might be more fish here than I think. Okay, okay. I thought that was a bass. Look at that. I hope I'm recording right now. Still got the thump net, baby. Those two crappie from earlier, they're still living well. Drop that third one in there. Let's go. All right, guys. Well, let's see if we can get another one. I did go a little deeper on those trees. Just a little bit deeper. That was a big fish. There he is. Oh, gosh. Look at that. That's another keeper. Uh-oh. Well. Well, let me get this fish off, and I'm going to tell you my thinking here. Make this a little easier on me. I'm pretty sure that's going to be a keeper. He's a little skinny, but... Hey guys, it's almost 11. It's almost 11. 
All right, guys, that one's in the thump net. There he is. Oh, a black crappie, guys. I don't think he's gonna keep, but a little black crappie. Guys, look at that slab city. I mean, not a big fish at all, but he definitely wanted it. Not a healthy looking sucker. Black crappie. I'm gonna put that back in the creek. So what I'm doing guys is there's a piece of structure right here on the bank, but there's a drop off. It seems like a ledge right near, there's another one. It seems like there's a couple fish on it. There he is guys. Hey, fun nonetheless. And we're talking early, real early in the creek season still. Jigging bobber and vertical jigging, guys. Like I said, these are my two favorite ways to creek crappie fish. And it really just depends on the situation, all right? It really just depends. Like I mentioned earlier, if I have this tree laid down right here, I really don't want to throw a jigging bobber on it. Now, I'm not saying you can't catch some fish doing that, but your best option is going to be to vertical jig it. That's going to be your best option as far as not getting hung up and and doing all that stuff because I mean you don't want you want to be fishing you don't want to be getting hung up there he is oh gosh guys oh and then all of a sudden look all of a sudden you you pull out a freaking I don't know 12 incher maybe look guys this checker's 12 look he's over 12 over 12 inches look at there Putting them back today, baby. Let's go get another one. There he is. There he is. <laughs> a little guy. Isn't it crazy, guys, to catch four or five crappie this size? Then all of a sudden, you get a tank. All right, guys, I'm going to switch it up a little bit. I'm going to uh, get this chartreuse. Telling you guys, if you ain't got these, they're gonna start going really fast. I can promise you. Can we catch one on the chartreuse? And we can. Not a big one, but we got them. White crappie. White and black crappie. A little guy. See you, buddy. Done caught two big ones from here. There's another one. Oh, if, I, I bet that's a keeper too. Dang, guys, I would have had a pretty good little sack if I'd have kept my fish. I think that's a keeper. And it is. It's ten and a half. Look at that. Ten and a half or we we'll put it back. Man. Here we go. Guys, that one hit it. Oh buddy. That one hit it on the fall. That's a big fish. Good gosh. Jeez. Guys. Ooh, I hope y'all can get a good angle of that. I mean, geez, guys, I, I can't measure this one. I got to do this one with this one. Mm, come on, girl. That's a 13. Wait, yeah. That's a 13. Good fish, baby. Let's go. Oh, look at that pretty. Oh, my gosh. Gorgeous fish. Let's go get another one. Yeah, guys, I done switched to the chartreuse. And monkey melt got a one eighth ounce of jig head on here, and I'm letting it slow fall. That's what I'm doing, just letting it slow fall. That was a big crappie right there, 13 incher. 
And guys, what I'll do is I'll just switch my dips up from time to time. You know, right now I'm probably fishing about, it's probably about four foot, probably about four foot deep. And I'll just switch up my depth from time to time, especially if I go like, you know, five or 10 minutes without a bite. Oh my gosh, I got, guys, look, look at there. I'm over here messing with the anchor. <laughs> That's them uh, Slab City jigs for you right there, guys. Look at that. That's a keeper too. <laughs> That's crazy. I don't need to put that up. I'm trying to get this, I'm trying to get this situated here. I was over here messing with the anchor. That is a 10 and a half. Ten and a half. Oh man, that's awesome. All right, guys. Well, I think I've done caught about four or five keepers off of this little stuff right here. There he is. Oh my goodness. That's a good fish. 12 incher, 12 incher baby, let's go. Oh, a little feisty. Also, don't forget about that thump gel, baby. Don't forget about that thump gel. Thumpgel.com, code 903, save you 10% off at thumpgel.com. Feel the thump, baby. That's what I'm doing right now, I'm feeling that thump. There he is. That's not the one I've been trying to catch, but that's a crappie, baby. It's probably close to a keeper. I'm telling you guys, when you catch a 13 and then you catch a 10, it's so much different. Look, well, that's a nine and a half. Nothing wrong with that fish. It's not legal. But I'm putting all my fish back anyway. There he is. Look at that black. Hey, it's a mohawk. Hey guys, what do you call these where you're from? What do you call these? Hold on a second. There's plenty of names for these. Look at that. What do you call that? It goes all the way down to the to his chin, I guess. But what do y'all call this type of crappie? Mohawk, black nose, magnolia. What's going down? What do you name it? Let me know. Bye, buddy. See you. Oh, there he is. Oh gosh, guys, that's a crappie. That's a big one. Turn sideways here. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a big one. Oh my goodness. Look at that crappie, guys. Look how thick that fish is. Wow. Look at that fish, guys. That is a 13 incher. 13 incher baby let's go it's a good fish guys look at that pretty 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 fish i think i might be on to something here let's put that 13 incher on there now my setup today guys is y'all already know i got the 66 acc crappie sticks one piece right here okay this is my go-to jig and bobber rod in the creek. 661 piece, great backbone. I don't have to carry a net with me. I could just flip these crappie up to me, just like you just saw. And 10 pound Power Pro braid. Guys, I'm still in the creek, okay? I'm fishing heavy structure, possibly, um, with a 12 pound mono leader. And then check this out, guys. Y'all are gonna be excited about this. I'm fishing really muddy, muddy water. As you can see, it's pretty much chocolate milk. And this is gonna be a new bait coming to the 903 Fish and Stinger series from Slab City Jigs, okay? Black and monkey milk. But yes, this is one of the new baits coming to the 903 Fish and Stinger series right here. And I fish a lot of dirty, muddy water, guys. So 
you know, I wanted a bait that I could really use in these creeks when they do get real muddy, just like this right here after a big rain and these crappie are in here, but they got to be able to see what they're going to eat. And I feel like this black and monkey milk right here is going to be great for these muddy creeks. And I mean, when the water is this muddy guys, them crappie don't have much visibility. They really don't. So you got to make that bait presentable to them the best you can. And this is one way to do it right here by using that black and monkey milk, something that they can see. There he is. Okay guys, I think we got a good one. Oh goodness gracious. It is. is that a toad? Yep. That's a keeper fish all day right there, baby. Let's go. There we go, guys. That's gonna be a keep. It's almost 12 inches right there. Almost good solid fish now guys i want y'all to stick around to the to closer to the end of this video because i'm going to show you something that i've i've never seen before personally and i think it's kind of crazy it's it's something i've never seen before so and I, i've seen a lot of things out here on on the creeks and doing all that stuff so if you want to see something interesting stick around because i'm going to show y'all here in a little bit but let's see if we can't catch some more keeper fish i'm also using thump gel today be sure to go to thumpgel.com use code 903 to save you 10 percent off that's what i'm using to help catch these crappie today the scent from that thump gel really gets these crappie going and these crappie just really they really can't resist that thump gel guys i got a lot of people ask me about thump gel and i've seen my catches increase ever since I started using it. So I'm a believer. There he is. All right, we got another good fish, guys. Another good one. Sorry, trying to reposition the kayak. Look at that fish. Oh my goodness. Ooh, another good one. All right, guys. Well, this one is, that's another 13 incher. 13 incher, guys. All right, guys, here we go. Look at the mouth on that crappie. Solid white, solid white crappie. All right, guys, well, guess what? We got four on stringer. I think I may have figured something out here. But I'm telling you guys, you gotta stay till the end of this video. I am gonna show y'all something that I've never seen. And it is very, very interesting. If these crappie are stacked here like I think they are, I know the exact reason why. So y'all stay tuned. There he is. Oh man, he hit that so light. But when I started to reel, I felt it. Look at that, guys. I think that's going to be another keeper. Maybe not. I mean, after you pull out a 13. Hey, guys, that's. Oops. Hey, guys, that's almost 10 and a half. Look at that. 10 and a half, baby. Let's go. 10 and a half incher pull out a 13 and then you catch a 10 and a half and it don't even look like a keeper you know but it is it is all right guys well let's keep on rolling guys what what 
What? What's go? What? Guys, that's no edits. <gasps> that was a freaking hammer. Oh my gosh. Okay. Whew. Guys, I don't know if y'all just saw that, but I put the fish on. My pole started going in the water. That was, that may have been a two pound crappie. I don't know. Oh my gosh. There's some big ones in here. Good gosh. Is that a crappie? Oh yeah. Look at that guys. I figured them out, baby. That's a keeper black. Keeper black, I think. Ten and a half, baby. Let's roll. All right, guys. Ten and a half inch black. Hadn't caught a keeper black out of here yet, but hey, I guess there's a first for everything, you know? You know what? I may need a one, two, three, four. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, that's six, guys. Help me keep count if you can. Help me. Help me, help me. Oh, if that wind would stay just like that. Can we go back to back keepers? Can we go back to back? I don't look like it. Oh, we can. We can. Oh my, guys. Oh, it's a stud. It's a giant. Please don't come off. Please don't come off. Oh my gosh. Oh ho ho ho. Hey guys, what do you think about that one? 14. We got a 14 inch baby. Biggest of the day. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is awesome. Guys, he choked that slab city right there. I can't even get that out. Guys, look at that. Look at that slab city. There it is. That's all we're using, baby. Jig and bobber. Jig and bobber, guys. Look at that. That is a beautiful fish. Big old mouth on that sucker, too. All right, guys. That's seven. Wow. What a fish. That's definitely the biggest of the day right there. Let's go get another one. All right, guys. That was an absolute tank. Is there another one? I think there is. I'm telling you, man, I wish, God, I wish the wind would stay just like that. Oh, there he is. It's another giant. Oh gosh, guys, it's a big one. Oh. Look at that fish. Oh my gosh. Guys. Guys. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Guys. Oh my gosh. That, that is an absolute tank in the creek. Oh my gosh, guys. Is that, that's, that's 15. That's just shot 15. Oh my gosh. Look at that guys, black and monkey milk. Like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, this is gonna be one of the new baits on Slab City Jigs right here. The 903 Fishing Stinger Series. Look at this, black and monkey milk, muddy creek, muddy creek. I'm talking about, look guys, it's chocolate, chocolate milk. I mean, it's, it's chocolate milk right now, but look at that. Look how wide, how wide is the fish? Guys, that fish is about six inches wide. Look at that, a monster. Look at the eyes on that sucker. Oh my gosh. Whew, sorry guys, I get excited. This, this right here, you wanna pump me up? Let me start catching some toads out of the creek. Let me start catching some giants out of the creek. See if I don't get pumped up, baby. Oh my gosh, guys. 
And guess what? I still haven't showed y'all why the crappie are stacked right here in this hole. I know the answer. I know the exact answer. Oh my goodness. Wowza. All right, guys. Just caught the biggest of the day. Is there another one? I'm telling you guys, I think it's absolutely loaded. And that was a shad right there that just busted up. Did he hit it? That one hit it. Uh-oh. Look at that, guys. We're back on the board with a keep. I think. Let's see what he's looking like. Hey, guys. Almost ten and a half. There we go. Almost ten and a half. Like I said, when you catch a 15, then you catch a ten and a half. You kind of like, whoa, you know. I mean, look look at there, guys. That 15-incher, the last one I put on there, could dang near almost eat that 10-incher. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah, guys, what I'm doing right now is just a retrieving that bobber a lot slower than I normally would. But from what I have saw today is these crappie don't want it just moving crazy. So I'm giving it about three or four pops and letting it sit. And a lot of the times those crappie will hit that bobber as it's sitting still. All right, let's get back on the board here. Let's see if we can get back on the board. There he is. God, oh. Oh, I think that's gonna keep, guys. That's a solid black crappie, I think. I think that's a solid fish. Let's see what he's looking like. Ten and a half, baby. We're back on the board. Not a giant, but hey, in Texas, guys, if this is your first time watching, ten inches is a keeper. So, ten and a half. That's going to keep all day right there. I don't know if it'll work or not, but we can try. Y'all see that, guys? Oh, y'all see that? Oh, man. I think I'm recording. I don't know if I am or not. I think I am. Oh, I hope I'm recording. Well, a little different approach there. <laughs> a little different approach. That's a good fish. Not bad at all. That one was closer to me. Okay, guys, well... Didn't expect to catch one on the first cast trying it, but I did. I have my other 6.6 six right here, and I am popping this jig off the bottom. And that was my first cast doing that. I got nailed. I got absolutely slaughtered. I know there's some... Look at there, another one. Different approach, guys, and it is a giant. No jig and bobber with this one. Look at that. Look at that fish, guys. Oh, my goodness. Look at that, guys. Look. Popping that jig. Look. Look at that slab city. Now, this is actually the white in monkey milk. This is going to be one of the newer colors as well. Look at that. I quit getting bites on jig and bobber, guys, so I decided to go ahead and throw out one sixteenth ounce jig head. A little slow fall, okay? Sometimes that one eighth ounce can just be too, too heavy. It's, it's falling too fast. They can't react to it. So check it out, guys. Right here, look. One sixteenth ounce jig head. Like I mentioned, this is my other 6'6 six six right here. One piece. ACC, all right. I usually take one to either vertical jig or cast, and then I have the other one for my jig and bobber. So that one, shoot, guys, that was nice. All right, guys, there's another one. 
Sorry for no hook set. I had just changed batteries and didn't forgot to turn the camera on. Oh, guess what, guys? That's going to be a keeper as well. 11 incher. Let's ride, baby. 11 incher right here. Not a giant, but keeper where I'm at, baby. Keeper. All right, guys, look at that stringer. We're doing all right. We're doing okay. Very blessed. Let's see if we can't get another one. I want to know, is there any more of them 15s down there? That's what I want to know. You know what, guys? Caught a few fish, thrown out and jigging back to me with no cork, and then now I've gone back to the bobber and have caught a couple more fish doing that so you know always a good idea to have a couple of techniques ready to go definitely doesn't hurt good gosh uh-oh oh guys i think we got another one. Oh, it's another stud oh it's a stud oh come here fish oh Guys, oh, look at that fish. God, dog. Oh. Slap City Jig, right there, slapcityjigs.com. If you want to catch crappie in the creeks just like this, this fall and winter, get you some of these baits right here. I'm telling you guys, it's game over. This one is a, that's just shy of 15. Just shy of 15 inches, guys. Look at that. Good gosh. What a toad. Beautiful fish. I mean, white. It's a white crappie, guys. White. That is awesome. All right, guys. Well, what a beaut. Wow, guys. That stringer is filling up, baby. I don't think I'm close to a limit, so we're going to keep on going, see what else we can get. I was wondering if there was another toad in there, and there was. Let me see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We got fourteen on a stranga. No way that's a crappie, guys. Guys, there's no way. Y'all saw me. I just threw that in there. There's no way that's a crappie. I think it is the way it's fighting, but and it is. Guys, I just threw it in the water. And it's a solid fish. I'm telling you, that right there is in Slab City for you. Look at that, guys. Oh, man. I mean, that's, that's a solid 12-incher. Solid 12 inch crop you got. I just threw it in the water. I didn't even move it. I did not even move the bait. All right, guys, I just counted a while ago off camera. I'm pretty sure that's 15. That's 15 crappie right there. Let's keep on going. That was insane. Why? No way. No way. No way. Guys, this is the type of stuff that's what? It's another stud. Oh, this one's bigger than that one. Look at that crappie. Oh my God, it's a giant. Come on. Oh, look at the belly. Look at the belly on that fish. Guys, that's two in a row. So what I did was I actually went shallower. I'm about a foot and a half instead of two, and I'm trying to throw closer to the bank, and what is going on? That is insane. I think that's 16. Oh my gosh, guys. I don't know.
another one. I don't think it's as big or he's coming in to me. I can't tell. Oh, it's a crappie. He ain't going to keep, but. Okay, guys, you know what? Shoot, look. I'm not, my bobber stops right here. I'm going to go about two or three inches shallower just to make sure I'm in the water column and not too close to the bottom. No way. That is crazy. Oh gosh, he hit it. Look at that. Oh, they're shallow. Chasing that bait, guys. This is a tank, I think. And it is. This is a tank. Yeah, well, not as big as those couple, but. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Y'all see that 6'6 that six, six ACC, guys? Flip that crappie right, right up to me. Okay, guys, that's official. I'm fishing about 14 inches deep now. I've been fishing two foot deep this whole video. Not a giant, but that's a big one. I think that's 17. Good gosh, this is incredible. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, guys, calm down. This is insane. Are they that shallow on the bank right there? See guys, that's why you, you gotta try, you gotta try everything. You just never know. Yeah, I've caught quite a few fish two foot deep, but I decided I wanted to go a little shallower and throw on the bank, closer to the bank. And I've caught three keepers in five minutes, 14 inches deep on the bank. All right guys, well, I believe I got 18 or 19. I think I'm gonna go up the creek just a little bit, but stick around and I have an explanation on why these crappie are stacked right here. I can show you exactly why. So y'all be sure to stay tuned. What's going on family? Well, that's about gonna end this trip. But like I promised, I wanted to show you guys what happened. Now, as I was coming up in this creek, I put in and started paddling towards the lake. I came upon this right here and I've never seen this in person. I knew that this could happen, but it just, it's pretty wild in my opinion. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Look at this beaver dam guys. This beaver dam goes all the way across the creek and it is thick. I mean, those sticks and logs, there's mud caked. Look at this guys. Look at this mud. It goes all the way across the creek. I have never seen anything like this in person. This is crazy. So here's my thoughts, guys. When I first pulled up on this beaver dam, I came around this corner, I saw the beaver dam, and the water on this side of the beaver dam is about a foot higher than the water on this side. I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but the water is extremely high. The water is running from this way to this way towards the lake. So I thought to myself, these crappie cannot get past this beaver dam. There's no possible way. Now, I mean, there may be some holes and crooks and crevices in there somewhere, but this beaver dam is really, really solid. So there's no way that these crappie can get past it. They can't go up further into the creek. So guys, I fished this first bend right here. This is where I caught all my fish today this first bend there's shad there's bait popping everywhere and this right here is actually one of the deeper holes that i've came upon in this creek probably about anywhere from three to six maybe seven foot deep and guess what guys i ended up finding these crappie stacked up basically as far as these crappie can go like i said they cannot get past this beaver dam right here and most I would say most bait fish can't really get past it at all. This right here is crazy to me. I've, I've never seen anything like this, guys. And you know what? I actually thought to myself, I'm going to turn around. I'm not going to go past this beaver dam. I don't know what's up there or whatever. But you know what? I'm glad I did because I caught all my fish about 20 to 25 yards right past the beaver dam. There it is, guys. Finished with 19 today. Some of these are some great looking crappie in this creek. Like I said, they can't go any further, so they're almost trapped in here right now. Chasing bait, chasing shad. 
But you know what? It was a great time. I'm glad I ended up trusting my gut and really going past that beaver dam. There he is. Uh oh. Oh, guys. Oh. Oh. That is a keeper white crappie. Oh, man. Not expecting that right there. Hey, guys. Pretty sure that's going to be a keep. Let me get a little situated here. I was not expecting that. To be, to be honest with you, I really wasn't. But, hey guys, that's almost 11 incher. It's almost 11 incher right there. All right, guys, check this out. I got the thump net, baby. We're going to see how this thing works today. Now, what I'm, my plan is, this is the thump net. You can go to thumpnet.com or thumpgel.com i believe and go ahead and pick you one up now here's the situation you can put a string through this loop right here and guess what guys you pretty much got you a floating live well and this thing does zip back up okay look at that it's a floating live well just like that. All you gotta do is tie this back to this, and then boom. You got you a floating live well, guys. Look at that. It's my first time trying it out. Crappie's able to swim down there and your fish stay alive. Let's see if there's another one. There he is. Oh, guys. Oh, man. Oh, God. That's a good fish. Okay. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh, that's two, baby. Hey, that's two keepers, guys. Pretty sure I'm recording. No need to measure this fish. So, guess what, guys? Check out this thump net. Unzip it put the fish in zip it back and there's your two keeper fish right there baby now am i going to be able to stay still is the question all right guys today i'm using my 66 acc crappie sticks one piece slip cork double jig rig and i have my pc fun carbon x 500 on this 66 and guys go to pcfun.com use code 903 fish 15 Save you 15% off of your order at PCFun.com. We got this double jig rig, guys. And we're going to see if it works today. I caught one fish on a single rig, and then it got all tangled up and messed around. So I went ahead and grabbed this rod instead. And we're going to see if we can't put a couple crappie in the thump net right here with these slab city jigs as well, guys. Hey. 903 fishing signature series right here guys slabcityjigs.com these are going to catch you some creek crappie this fall and winter i just missed one. Oh, there he is there he is oh gosh yes oh oh he bit the top jig guys i switched over to a double jig rig my other rod got tangled up twisted up all on the um tip of the rod so had another six six hey guys these three fish are not giants by no means but this is the biggest one that's a 12 incher oh my goodness dude that's a 12 incher 
and guess what guys look at that thumb net in the in the thumb net close up that thumb net look at there hey guys that's three keepers let's go get another one all right guys i'm also using thump gel today you can pick up thump gel at thumpgel.com along with the along with the uh thump net right here i mean these tubes make it so easy to apply this thump gel and you know i'm not going to show you every single time i apply it kind of redundant but apply that thump gel right there crappie love that thump gel i'm telling you guys it's just that extra little that extra little oomph with it and i tell you what that thump gel in my opinion smells like shad so that could be another reason why they like it crappie are in the creek feeding on shad could very well be the reason why them crappie really like that thump gel there is so many logs underneath here that you can't see and the reason for that is the current goes this way okay and when it floods and gets real high all of these logs and trees coming with the water they get trapped up against this railroad trestle right here that fish went in about two foot deep guys Let's see if there's another one so double jig rig y'all know me i love a double jig rig i can cover two depths at once i don't i'm pretty sure it's about maybe four to five feet over in this area over here about four to five foot oh there's another one are you kidding me are you serious right now guys oh my god oh that's a big one. that's a big one. oh my gosh look at that guys oh stop 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 oh my goodness now that bit the bottom jig look at that slab city there's the 903 fishing signature stinger series right there look at that slab city baby slabcityjigs.com be sure to go check them out guys oh hey guys that one's over 12 that's closer to 13 inches right there guys 13 inch baby oh man like i said this is my first time using the thump net and i tell you what guys i'm starting to like it i'm starting to like that thing all right guys let's go get another one there is bait in this creek i am seeing some bait so a lot of people always ask me you know how do i know if there's crappie in my creek well i mean the only for sure way to really know is to go fish it that's the only guaranteed way to really really know if you see bait jumping especially shad and when shad flutter on top of the water they have a very distinct little flutter that they do when that happens when there's shad in a creek, there's a way better chance of there being crappie in that creek. It's very interesting. Oh, there he is. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's another one. Another one, baby. Oh, man. Took a while between four and five. A little keeper fish, not a giant. I mean, I'm in Texas, guys. If this is your first time watching, well, that, that, guys, that's a 12 incher. I mean, that's just shy of 12 inches. That's a good creek fish right there. Nothing wrong with that crappie. Look at that. Open up my thump net just like that zip that sucker back up and you're ready to roll again baby all right guys that's five in the basket in the thump net let's go ahead and keep going i was not paying attention on that last crappie nope I took my eyes off the court for a second and then boom and i tell people this all the time i don't know why but crappie 10 to hit that cork when it's sitting still so you'll see me pop 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 and then i let it sit for two to four seconds or so and then you know i may pop it five or six times in a row but then i always try to let it sit before i keep keep bringing that bobber back to me because i don't know what it is they like to hit it when it's sitting still i don't know why
I got him. I didn't even know I had him. Look at there. I don't think that's a keeper, guys. But he hit it, but he really didn't take the cork under, probably because he's a little guy. But he hit the top jig. Yeah, that's not a keeper, guys. Hey, first non-keeper, black crappie. Let's put that up. Right after I applied that thump gel, guys, got bit. And guys, if you're wondering why I'm not fishing these pillars is because it is very, I have my 10 foot ACC with me and I have caught a few fish on those pillars in the past, but very, very, very difficult to maneuver around those pillars. If this top crossbar wasn't there, then I probably would do more vertical jigging on those pillars. But since that bar is there, it is so hard to get in there and vertical jig with a long pole. All right, guys, so I haven't got bit in a while, so I'm gonna go a foot deeper. I'm not real sure on how deep it is over there, but with this slip cork, if that bobber is laying flat or it's not working how it should, then more than likely you're on bottom. So that's gonna kinda tell me what I need to know. Looking like it's a little too deep. Oh, there he is. I don't think he's very big. He's not, but a little crappie, guys. Hey, that's a, is that a white? It is a little white crappie. And guess what? He hit the top jig. A little white crappie, guys. Uh, pretty old baby. I may need to have these jigs set at one and two feet. And that's one thing I've learned, guys, creek fishing for crappie is crappie will be a lot shallower in the creek than you think. And even if it's five, six, seven, eight feet, they'll still be a foot and a half, a foot to two feet deep because they're up high chasing bait. So just because it's eight feet deep hole doesn't mean you need to fish six because more than likely those crappie will be sitting up higher in the water column because that's where the shad are gonna be. The shad are gonna be up higher in the water column. All right, guys, I really didn't wanna do this, but I'm gonna try it. Hopefully I don't get hung up here, but you never know, it could work out well. I wish I was a little closer than pillars though. There he is. Ah, oh, it's a little guy. And you know what guys, I've also came to the conclusion that most of my keeper fish come out from the, the, the railroad trestle, not, not up in it. So I think that's very weird. I, I don't understand why, but most of my keepers come from the outside of it, not in it. Uh oh, there he is, a little guy, see? Ain't that crazy? You would think there would be some bigger fish up, up in there, especially on that structure. But my thinking for that is if the bait is out here, then the bigger fish will be chasing that bait. That's kind of my theory right there, I guess. Your smaller fish will stay where they think they're protected against structure. And your bigger crappie, they feel more inclined that they can go out and chase bait. Uh oh, there he is. Uh oh, oh, we got enough. Is that is that a crappie? Holy smokes, guys! Dude, that is. Oh my gosh, is that a black? No, that's a big old white. Oh my gosh, guys, what? Hey, <laughs> another twelve plus, guys. Dang. That's a solid fish, guys, solid, solid. I mean, look, little comparison, guys. I don't even know if he'll fit. Hey, that's a, that's over 12 inches. That's dang near a 13 inch crappie. Wow, that's a big fish.
for the creek. It's a big old crappie. All right, Thumpnet, what you got? There we go, baby. Let's roll. All right, guys, let's see if we can go get another one. All right, guys, that was a nice fish. Like I said, hey, bigger fish outside of the railroad trestle. Caught two or three little small ones up close to the, in there, in that area. Then I come out here three or four casts later, dang near a 13 incher right there. Oh, oh, there he is. Oh gosh. <laughs> Hey guys, went closer to the railroad trestle, smaller fish. Now guys, I'm not saying you can't catch big fish underneath bridges and railroad trestle. I'm not saying that. But in this case, I'm, I'm letting y'all know from what I have seen right now to date, that has been the case. All of my bigger fish have came in that little area, that little hole right there. I think I had one earlier right over here where I'm at now, but it wasn't underneath. There he is. That's not a crappie. Oh, it is. Oh my gosh, there he is. I think that's gonna keep, baby. Dang, guys. Look how deep that crappie is, guys. My bobber stop is right here. I think y'all can see that. That's about a foot. I mean, that's no more than 18 inches for sure. Bit the top jig. Is it a keeper? I don't know. It's going to be close. No, he's going to be just shy of 10, guys. I mean, he probably is 10. He's going to be just shy of 10. We're going to go ahead and put that one back. Your lucky day, sir. All right, guys. Let's see if we can go catch another keeper. All right, guys. Well, that is going to end this trip on the kayak in the creek. But I do want to show y'all something real quick. This stump net, okay? Now I'm going to try to do this the best I can with one hand. But y'all remember the, th the thump net right here, okay? I have my crappie in here. I've had them in here the whole trip. And I'm going to unzip this thing real quick. And you know what? That's one good thing about this thump net is that you are able, at the end of the trip, if you don't feel like you want to clean them, you can go ahead and put them back in the creek and come back and catch them later. All right, guys. Well, like I said, I'm going to try to do this the best I can with one hand. But dumping out the crappie, looks like we ended with one, two, three, four, five, six keepers today. And it's still relatively early in the season. So let's see what we can do here. Let's see if I can do this. Good old crappie. See ya. That's a pretty good fish right there, guys. See ya. There's three. Four. Another solid fish right here as well. Five. And six. Guess what, guys? All those fish are alive, and they're good to go for somebody else to catch. So like I just mentioned, guys, it's still really early in this creek crappie season. I tell you what we need. What we need here in East Texas is a big old rain. If we can get a big old rain, flood out the creek, I guarantee you that will bring in even more bait fish. Therefore, the crappie's gonna follow them. But today I used my 6.6 ACC crappie sticks with a double jig rig with those Slab City jigs. Be sure to go to slabcityjigs.com Pick you up some of those 903 Fishing Stinger Series baits. They're gonna catch you crappie in the winter and fall. And don't forget about acccrappiesticks.com as well. Paired with those PC Fun Reels, guys. Everyone that I have talked to that has went ahead and grabbed them up, one of those PC Fun Reels, they do not regret it. One of the best decisions they said that they've ever made when it comes to a reel. So be sure to go to pcfun.com, use code 903FISH15, save you 15% off of your order. There will be plenty more creek crappie fishing coming to the channel. So if you did like this video, smash that thumbs up button for me. I'd greatly appreciate it. Also, if you're subscribed to the channel already, God bless you. Y'all know I would not be doing this without you guys. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting. It means the world to me. If you're not subscribed, we're on the road to 75,000 subscribers on the channel. 
We're gonna have a massive giveaway once we hit that 75,000 subscriber mark. So smash that subscribe button, come join the family. Like always, like, comment, and subscribe to 903 Fishing. Y'all have a great day, God bless.